All right, so Donald Trump, as you know, as we reported yesterday, is still banned from Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, he did put up his own um, social media site. The account name is the Desk of Donald J. Trump at DJ T Desk. That's the Twitter handle. But they ban that now. All right, because they see that it's a kind of a ruse. It's, it's really Donald Trump trying to get back on using his pack. But there shouldn't be a ban at all. And Americans should be very outraged. If you, even if you don't like Donald Trump, this is the first step to totalitarianism when you start to ban freedom of speech and opposing points of view. All right? So everybody should be crazed about it. Nobody is. They're happy that Trump's not on. Um, so the censorship, I, I asked my crack staff, and it is a good staff, I have to say, find me one conservative group or a pundit on television or newspaper columns who has called for censoring speech in any way, find me somebody. We can't do it. It doesn't exist. Now, there have been people that call for boycotts, but it's usually a very targeted something. Some company does something heinous, that kind of thing. But across the board, suppression of speech, there isn't one conservative that we know of in this entire country that's doing that. 100% of it is on the progressive left. And again, independent-minded Americans, people who aren't tied into ideology, should be like, what is this? Now, have you heard President Biden speak out against this? He has not. He has not. If I were President Biden, I would ask Facebook to lift the suspension of Donald Trump now. And if I were... Nancy Pelosi and um, Chuck Schumer, the heads of the House and Senate, I'd get legislation up and running. We can't have this, not in this country, if we want to retain our freedom. But the problem is that the progressive left doesn't want to retain freedom. They don't like freedom. Freedom is racist. That's what's led to all of these horrible, horrible things. We don't, they don't want that. They just want to run the show. We'll run it. We don't need this freedom thing. We don't need the amendment thing, the Bill of Rights thing. No, we're, we'll run it. We'll run everything. And if you don't like it, then we'll get rid of you or we'll silence you. It's almost like the mob <laughs> in a way. Now, there's an easy solution to people posting irresponsible things on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. If it's illegal or immoral in the sense that it's showing you uh, I, I picked up one today. It says the photo has been deleted because it shows mature content that is graphic. So somebody posts porn pornography on one of these social media and they knocked it out. That's fine. And if it's criminal, if it's threatening, uh, you knock it right out. But you say, this is why we're doing it. Here are the standards. Now, in political speech, you can say that Donald Trump incited the Capitol riot. You can say that. It hasn't been proven beyond any reasonable doubt. I don't believe he did it myself, and I've analyzed it. You can say Black Lives Matter incited violence against police by chanting this. Roll the tape. All right, so pigs in the blanket fry them like bacon. That was on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all of them. Not censored. Black Lives Matter, not censored. Nope. Now, that's a much stronger call of violence than anything Donald Trump did. It's a fact. It's a fact. So we know, we know that the media companies lean left in a huge way that most of their employees are progressive out in Silicon Valley. We know all that. Those are facts. So if I'm a congressperson, I'm sitting there, I go, wait, wait. We have new technology that has changed the way we communicate to each other. It used to be the telephone, right? Nobody could intrude on the telephone. We have laws protecting that you can't get eavesdropped on. You got to get a warrant. There are laws protecting your communication on telephone. There are no laws on social media. 
It's up to them. It's up to those companies. If they don't like Trump, we're not going to hear from them. Black Lives Matter, well, we like them. So pigs in a blanket fry them like bacon. Yeah, it's okay. They're pigs. Colin Kaepernick censored? No. He wore socks depicting police officers as pigs. So you get it. Everybody gets it. Nobody can stick up for this censorship. I haven't heard any politician sticking up for this. They ignore it. And the leader of the country, Joe Biden, he should be engaged in this. He ignores it. He ignores it. Why? Because it's not important to him. His people, his base, are the ones that are practicing the suppression of freedom of speech. So why would he go against his base? Why would he tell you that we've turned COVID around because Donald Trump was very effective in getting the pharmaceutical companies to develop the backs? You heard Biden say that? No. Why? And we had a Democrat on last week, and the Democrat was honest and said, well, it goes against his base. Base doesn't want to hear it. So anyway, the solution to this problem is the social media companies having a set standard of what they will allow on their sites. And let's see it. But for them to just knock out Donald Trump and not knock out Black Lives Matter, it's blatant. It's absolutely blatant.